Now in this chapter of congruence and similarity, let's take a look at checkpoint 8.4 part A. Okay, now this is on a uh, map, alright, so let's take a look at this scale. Now always remember scales are in cm to cm. So you have 1 is to 2, 5, 0, 0, 0. Convert this 1 cm into kilometers first, so what will you do? You divide by 100, then divide by 1000. Now some people might question why, because, you see, if let's say I have, I want to convert this to meters, I will have to divide by 100. So I'll get this, this is centimeters to meters, right? Then I want to change this to kilometers. Okay, so what do I have to do? I will divide it further by 1000. So in total, you need to divide by 1000, then 100. Okay, and this will give you 0 0.25 kilometers. Alright, so once you get this 0 0.25 kilometers, Okay, all you need to do is to just apply it in the question. Okay, if there are the two town councils are 3.5 kilometers apart, all right, find a corresponding distance on the map. So remember these kilometers are means the actual. Okay, then the tell is 3.5 kilometers. Alright, so what does this mean? It means to actually multiply this by 3.5 divided by 0 0.25. So therefore, your answer here would be 14 cm. Okay, and then part 2. Alright, a reservoir has an area of 16 cm cube. Okay, remember I've gone through this before. If I have 1 meter to 1 meter, this is just 100 cm to 100 cm. Means 1 meter square equals to 100 times 100 cm square. Okay, so a reservoir has an area of 16 cm square. So 1, 0 0.25 kilometer. 1 is to 0 0.25 kilometer. So 1 cm square is equal to 0 0.25 multiplied by 0 0.25. Can see? Okay, so this will give you 1 cm square is to 0 0.0625 kilometer square. Okay, so an area has 16 cm, right? So 16 cm, okay, they take 0 0.0625 multiplied by 16. So therefore, you should get 1 kilometer square over here. Okay?